fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Jackal Man from the Thundercats Ultimate line from Super 7. Uh, packaging, once again, very, very cool. We have this nice uh, kind of metallic -y chrome emblem. Um, the, the mutants don't really have a faction symbol like the Thundercats do, so they just kind of went with the emblem for Mumra with the two snakes. Uh, makes as much sense as anything, honestly. Come around to the back, you have the classic Thundercat logo, which I think looks really, really good. Go ahead and pop this off. And of course we can see the figure inside. He looks great. Ton of accessories, extra head, all kinds of good stuff in there. Come around to the back of this and you have that uh, picture, which again I believe is from the um, VHS cassette <laughs> Exodus, which was the first five part episode. Very, very cool. I like that artwork quite a bit. So packaging, very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and get him out of there so we can take a closer look. So here is Jackalman out of the packaging. I think he looks fantastic. I think he did a really nice job. Um, apparently there are a couple things though. I never had the original uh, Maddie Collector one. But apparently there should be um, a little bit of paint here on his neck. That kind of matches the tan of the fur on his chest and kind of like his mouth. It should kind of like bleed right into each other so that it is the same color. And uh, apparently his shins are wrong. Uh, and I have to say, looking at it, I, I agree. These pieces, I feel like this is probably okay, or at least not as noticeable from, like, the gauntlet down. And the feet are certainly correct. But these two pieces here look like they should be switched. And apparently that was a problem on the Maddie Collector one, and they did not take the opportunity <laughs> to correct that here, which is kind of a bummer. But other than that, I think they did a really nice job overall. I really like the look of them. And the leg thing's not such a problem that, like, he can't stand or anything like that. It just looks a little awkward. makes him look a little, like, bow-legged. But it's not too much of a big deal. Uh, head is on a ball joint, so that moves all the way around. I think that looks great. They did a really nice job with the sculpt. The eyes are painted very nicely. I think everything about the head looks really, really good. You have the kind of harness and shoulder pad here. And the extra tuft of fur for the other shoulder is all kind of done as like one softer plastic piece, as you can see. Which I guess if you popped the head off, you could probably take that off, but I'm not going to try. But overall, it looks great. I think they did a nice job on that. Uh, shoulder articulation, pretty typical. You have a hinge and a swivel. No problems there. Bicep swivel. Now the bicep, unfortunately, because of the way his rib cage kind of sticks out really far on the sides... Uh, if you have the arm all the way down, the bicep swivel kind of knocks into it. So to get the bicep swivel to work, you kind of have to bring it out away from the body. But it works perfectly good. Uh, one single elbow joint, but that works well. You have a swivel and a bend in the wrist. You have a kind of ab crunch there as well as a waist swivel. You have a hinge and a swivel in the hip. You have a thigh uh, swivel as well. One single 90 degree knee joint. You have kind of a boot swivel at that kind of cuff for his gauntlet. And then you have a ankle swivel and you should have a pivot side to side as well. So pretty good. I think the articulation is nice. Like I said, it's a little weird about the leg thing, but it's not a big problem. And I have to say the, the tuft of this not being painted doesn't really bother me all that much. I mean, sure, it would have been great if it was, but personally... I don't mind it all that much. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's get into all the crazy accessories he comes with because he does come with a lot. So first up, we do have an alternate head. Kind of a screaming head, which I think looks good. I definitely think I prefer the head he's got on already. But I do love the inclusion of alternate heads. And this looks great. I mean, again, eyes are painted beautifully. Mouth and everything. The teeth are individually painted. They did a great job there. So really nice extra head. Uh, putting that off to the side. You have a couple of melee weapons. You have this kind of uh, club weapon with a spike, which is, looks like it's made out of some gnarled wood, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. Then you have this uh, larger axe, which is actually pretty long. I mean, it's I think it's taller than he is. <laughs> this is slightly taller than he is. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice piece. I like this quite a bit. He does have some alternate hands to hold these weapons. Now, he's got kind of, like, really open hands right now. Kind of like clawing poses type of thing. Kind of like what lion -O came with. Um, and then he's got uh, tighter grip hands. And you just pop the other ones out and pop these in. They swivel really nice. 
That's the one thing I like about Super 7. The joints are never like so tight that you can't move them, but they're also not loose. They're like the perfect amount. I, that's one thing I complain about with figures sometimes when the, you get them out of the box and the joints are just so tight you're afraid you're going to break it. I don't really run into that with these guys, so I love that. Um, he does also have a like rifle gun. I'm not really quite sure what these guns are. They're just kind of like random guns they decide to give him, but it's like a little musket type thing. <laughs> I kind of like the look of that. Uh, and then he comes with kind of two uh, short, like, handguns. Which are kind of neat. So, I don't really remember them using a bunch of random guns in the show, but it's been a while since I've seen the show, to be fair. Um, so for something like the club, you might want to use this larger hand grip. Although, it really doesn't really hold on to anything super well. As you can see, as it falls right out. Um... Let's see, any of these smaller guns fit in here? Eh, that's not terrible. That fits okay in that looser grip hand. What about something like this? Yeah, I mean, again, okay. It's not great. But I almost feel like the tighter grip hands are going to be a little too tight. So let's just have him stand up here for a sec. Let's see if we can... See, these are just, they're very tight. Like, I get what they're going for. But for the club weapon, I just, I really don't feel like that's getting in there anytime soon. I could be wrong. And you just might have to stretch them out a little bit just to kind of get in here. Yeah, Alright, there we go. That actually fits pretty well. And he would hold that very tightly. You'd have no problem with that. You just kind of have to get creative, kind of wriggle them in there. Uh, same with this. This one I think would be a little bit easier because that's very kind of cylindrical and simple. So yeah, he would have no problem with that either. And then for the musket, um, I don't know. This one's going to be interesting. Let's see what it looks like just kind of in the hand that he has, just out of curiosity. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, that's not terrible, honestly, because you can kind of put the one finger in, but it's still a little loose. So, I don't know how that's going to work, but... Um, for the tighter gripped hand... Uh, that's not terrible. But then you can't really get, like, a hand in the trigger finger. Or, like, a trigger finger in the trigger area, I guess I should say. <laughs> but he does hold it well. I mean, he definitely grasps it well. So, I guess I would probably take out one of these hands. Go ahead and just pop that out. And we'll put in one of the tighter gripped hands. Oops. That's not good. There we go. Get that in there. And then I'll give him, I'll probably give him the big spear. I like that. The spear axe. Something, yeah, let's, we'll, go, we'll call it the spear axe. So, something like that. I mean, really, you could probably even have him hold it with two hands. We can get this. Just use the loose hand on the other one. Why not? All right. Work with me here, Jackal Man. Work with me. What's going on here? There we go. There we go. So yeah, he could definitely do something like that. That looks pretty good. I'm not great at posing figures, but you get the idea. Something like that. But yeah, overall, I think he looks great. I love the accessories he comes with. Posability is excellent. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have the Maddie Collector one to compare it to. Honestly, if I did, I probably would not have gotten this one because apparently they're very, very similar. Um, but yeah, the main difference, I guess, is just that this little tuft of hair isn't painted. But I gotta say, personally, for me, it doesn't bother me all that much. I do wish they had fixed this, like, uh, calf thing down here being backwards. It's not a huge deal breaker, but it's one of those things that's kind of like once you see it, it's hard to unsee it. Uh, but overall, I still, for the most part, think he looks pretty good. So, I recommend picking him up. Uh, just like Lionel, I'm having a ton of fun with these from Super 7. So, 
I've been uh, very excited to check out everything that's coming. I do feel like he's got a little bit of empty space down here. I just kind of just kind of caught my eye. I didn't really notice it at first. You certainly don't notice it on this side because he's got the belt. Uh, but on this side, you do have that little bit of dead space in there, which is kind of a bummer. But ultimately, I still like it. I still like it quite a bit. I think they did a really nice job. All the detailing's great. The articulation's great. The sculpting's really good. Tons of accessories. So I recommend picking them up. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.